I want to show how to find which is the north and south um, pole of some neodymium magnets. And so the first step is you need to make sure you have them oriented in the same direction. And so, like that. Um, both norths are facing the same way. Or I'm not sure which one is which at this point. But make sure the orientation is the same. So. I'll remember the curved side of that and the blank side of that. So then you'll take a piece of steel and a wrench extension works well. And then put them on there, lining up with the same side so both of whatever the same pole are facing in the same direction. And put them on here so that the whatever pole. Um, it is, they're both facing the same direction. Um, like that. And then, you'll need to get a string, like a fishing line, or in this case I'm just using a very thin copper wire. Okay, so now it's balanced. And you'll notice it'll, it's able to swing around. And, you'll let it hang for a while until it makes up its mind and also meanwhile while it is uh, swinging around you can if you don't already know which direction is north you can check that on the compass or something and then when you determine which direction is north then once it settles down then it will the the way it's pointed or the side of the magnet that's pointed towards north would be the south pole of the magnet. So I'll just start the footage back up once this is stopped. Well, I hung up the magnet, um, two magnets on the rod, onto a much longer string above that copper wire, and it, I've let it sit here for a while, and it has seemed to have decided which way it's going to point. And I do know that that direction right over there is a magnetic north. And therefore, um, that this side of the magnet is the south pole. And this side of the magnet is the north pole. Because the opposite poles will attract. So the south side is going to be facing towards north. And... Um, the north side is going to be facing towards south. So once you have actually figured out um, which side is what pole, um, it's only one more thing to do, and that would be to mark out what the poles are. So this is north, so I'm just going to write in on it, and this is south. Put an S on it, and I'll take this off, and put a in as best I can on that side, and an S for south on that side. So when you're handling strong neodymium magnets, always remember to exhibit caution or you'll end up with a blood blister similar to that on your hands or worse. So you know, always, always be careful. And yeah.